Amen. It's the ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And look, the patch is here. You tired of missing? We got a lot to go over in this video, man. Before we get into any of that, y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe, man. Help Young Swan grow by hitting that like button, boy. <laughs> Now look, I want to show y'all something real quick, right? They put short shorts in the game for y'all foo-foo boys, right? But I want to show y'all something, man. Look, 15K VC each. This is insanity, right? Let's have a look, see. Look, now, 1500 Show y'all this. This is $5 in real life. You know what you could do for $5 in real life? For shorts, guys? Come on, man. It's ridiculous. Y'all got to riot. This is why you don't talk positively about 2K. You got to show that you're upset or they're going to keep pushing. You feel me? This is ridiculous. To look cool on a video game, the only way y'all can really get these prices lower is if you go on Twitter and publicly talk about all clothes prices in general, bro, and show screenshots and it will go viral, bro. I'm, I'm giving y'all the even probably tag teams. I I don't know if the team's got really nothing to do with it. It's Mitchell and Ness, whatever the hell. I don't really know. I ain't too much into clothes. Tag them, bro. This is ridiculous. 2K, they finally, in these recent years, they finally got some decent looking clothes, but it's just so expensive, bro. God damn, man. It's already a hundred a bill. You gotta buy Gatorade booze. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. But overall, with all the clothes, all the brands y'all see come out and stuff, what y'all have to do is you actually have to, this the LaMelo Ball stuff. I, got, I don't know what he got. Y'all have to actually tag them on Twitter, bro. You have to become a Karen, bro. This is why that side of the people, they be getting stuff done. You have to become a Karen, bro. Literally, you we have to embrace the Karens. We know they crazy in real life, but bro, they on to something. <laughs> You feel me? Look at this. Wait, hold on. TNT, tag. You feel me? I'm telling you, bro, it's the only way. Or it's just going to keep getting worse. Got a clip of Young Bags talking about 2K25, man. Y'all let me know if y'all agree. Y'all let me know what y'all want in the season two patch, man. Talk to me. Well, the game, like Iggy said, I mean, it has a lot more issues. It has good things, right? Close shot glitch, the proving grounds glitch. There's multiple Facts. proving grounds glitches. You load up, your rank's not there. So you go in as an unranked player. You can dashboard. <laughs> Contest system and dog flukes is ridiculous. You, you, uh, one game, you know, you blitz somebody, you pick it up every single time. The next game, you don't pick it up. Oh, that's. <laughs> it's so annoying uh it seems like offense they always like get the ball like i'll see somebody drive on two people get contested crazy and since those two guys contested him crazy he could just get the board he, it's just it's bad bro i'll time a perfect steal i'm trying my hardest to get the ball he just picks it right back up the reason this is in the game to it's to cater to the less skilled player the whole game design is to cater to the a horrible player which creates bad gameplay for all sides of the spectrum y'all don't realize that when you try to cater to casuals od you create a bad game catering to casuals isn't doing what the casual wants it's doing what you think the casual needs <laughs> so I mean, that's the deciding factor and when it when you put a good team next to a good team it's just whoever gets the the 50 50s mm. in yeah. that game and there's no there's no like competitive skill gap because if no you're even close gap. to that team's and when he says competitive skill gap he's not just talking about the top players that y'all hate my boy it's just if games tight y'all are on the same level that's when you start to notice that stuff and it will really irritate you you know Still, now it's just up to mike wing playing god if you're gonna win the game hey quote by young swan swan a lot of people live in bliss you're much happier in bliss but this is the truth some people are too ignorant to what's going on but people telling you all that real man so really to me <laughs> And I'm not even kidding. To me, like the only thing is, and I've I've actually cracked the code, not and I joking. can't get to it yet. Is just you can't take the game serious at all. I swear, you literally can't. That's why I just go play with randoms, bro. Like there's just there's no point. Just go play with randoms, roast them, have a blast. Look, we got fab. Okay, badge is a comp player. He beat 2K League players. This is an actual 2K League player and a stage player. Let's see what Fanta has to say about the shooting in 2K25. And guys, you can't shoot better than him. He knows more about shooting than you, okay? I know everyone likes to think they're the main character. Social media just engineering everybody to just become these grade A philosophical narcissists, man. It's, it's insanity, bro. Sometimes in life, bro, you're not that guy, right? You don't know everything. Especially if you can't prove it the real way, right? Why am I shooting with my right stick? And that's still even inconsistent. Oh, yeah. time your pump shot. Oh, slightly late. What is it? Push timing and the fleet? What is it? Your push timing and your finding stability? Oh, slightly slow. Okay, let me do it a little faster. Slightly fast, but slightly early on the push. Mm. It 
makes no sense. How am I shooting a You don't know why it doesn't make sense? Because Mike Wang is playing God. There is not a pure green one. That means it's, that means you can time your shot perfectly and you will miss. This is what you guys don't understand. Shooting is not hard. It's inconsistent by design. This is why a horrible NPC could be like, I'm shooting fine and all this and that. And then you can see a skilled player that could shoot better than that, that guy and be like, yo, this game's broken. You'll know why? Because that skilled player is taking more consecutive shots and threes and he's noticing and he's awake, right? The other guy's just ignorant. He understands what's going on. They're forcing you to miss to quote unquote, get you to a realistic percentage. Do y'all think that's fair? I can get open every single time have the right stamina i know my jump shot perfectly should i be penalized to miss the shot all because mike wang wants to put a cap on me the people defending the shooting on their knees mouth wide open double twisting they want the top to be nerfed while they're brought up anyone who loves the shooting likes that idea they want skilled players to get nerfed while they can somewhat compete because they're not good enough to time their shot that's the truth pay attention look at them <laughs> look at them now laugh at them laugh at all of them they have been exposed anyone in favor of this shooting system on their knees trying to max out their ball handling attributes transcend over 99 they are in favor of nerfing someone that they cannot compete with and they love mike wayne playing god twiddling his fingers being the puppeteer on a video game he can't be a god in real life so you want to be a god on the game i know a lot of people they look through this envy scope but let's put it in call of duty you get two kills in a row and all of the sudden if you're moving too much running around even though your stamina is good if, it, if they just detect you're too compy the next half clip of your bullets won't register and do no damage imagine that is that not crazy it's a video game and it's not like call of duty where you just buy the game and play we're spending a hundred a bill a lot of y'all y'all aren't aware of what's happening right some people are aware okay so we gotta stop attacking people that are aware of what's going on that understand the intricacies of the game that it's very unmotivating to play this game, to get online, to know when Mike Wang's playing God and making me miss when I need that shot to hit, right? It's very annoying, but yeah. Slightly early. I'm not shooting a slightly late on the push, but a slightly fast on the fleece. And if I do it any slower, okay, I'm doing it too fast. Let me do it a little bit slower. Now my push timing is slightly late. I'm done. Like, that's all I have to say. To and guess what? A lot of the uh, feedback that they give you, it's not always accurate, guys, because they're making you miss. It's not a 100% make percent or green window if you time it correctly. What they could really do with the shooting to make it hard and nice is lower the green window and take out the RNG. But the reason they're not doing that, I keep telling you, I don't know why you guys don't understand the shooting algorithm. I'm explaining it to you very simply, bro. This is the truth. This is just facts. Okay, understand it. The reason they're not just taking out RNG and just lowering the green window is because they know all the negative win percent casuals and horrible people won't be able to green their shots while the top people will be able to green their shots. So then that will make a big percent of the base not be able to green their shots. So what Mike Wayne, which I've been telling y'all he was going to do this, he's figured it out. Play God, nerf the real skilled players, limit them, make them miss on on purpose and make shooting easy enough for the base of 2k but it's not it, it's just it's horrible it's horrible gameplay guys once you wake up and understand what's going on you're gonna feel annoyed if you're not in no envious mind state and you like you had a father growing up you know it makes no sense when we are knocking over my green screen and shit like god damn bro mm -hmm. so, supposed to be pro a mat imagine you get good enough to understand your visual cue and you're good enough wide open five shots in a row you know you could do it but mike wang's make you miss two or three of them. wouldn't that annoy you you're sitting here playing this game for hours and all that i mean it, it's corny bro gameplay it makes no sense over here spitting on my phone Nine thousand new animations what the who did you have making the new animations oh no <laughs> why am i shooting with my right stick and that hey. <laughs> hey that goddamn pro play where them new animations i don't see y'all yeah, let me know how y'all feel about pro play man I look a dev said he confirmed the patch coming out before season two it should release wednesday maybe i'm gonna definitely keep y'all up to date so y'all be tuned in make sure you hit the like button and turn on noties man now this is the first vet five cash out right this little gold reward i think this these are kind of cool y'all let me know if y'all think y'all gonna hit vet five this year there's them on the court it's all crazy oh this dude got a bra on this is sad
Just just put them in the park, man, at this point, man. People want it bad. Now look, they also have the big head for a reward. Look at this. This is clean as hell. I actually love this, but you can't see your hands when you shoot. So maybe playing as a lock eh, or a center, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all the method, but this might low-key make cheaters be able to be hidden and have an excuse for using the meter. So just pay attention, guys. But I'm going to say it anyway. Low-key, when you use the big head, just put your meter on and then you'll actually be able to shoot and not uh use your visual cue i guess but then that will give people excuse to use the meter i ain't gonna hold you but um yeah. look at this this is crazy i love the big head event I, I see a lot of people they don't like this uh reward i like it though i think it's cool look at them i'm finna give y'all a pro tip now this user said i can't understand why 2k thinks it's okay to put my 6a small forward that is essentially a shooting guard at power forward in the wreck they should let you decide whether you want to be da 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 now look I'm gonna give y'all a pro tip, guys. If you can make your build at a earlier position, by earlier I mean PG or shooting guard or small forward position, always do that. Like, instead of, this is such a big issue. Instead of making your small forward, if you can make that as a PG, do it. Because then you will get positioned better in online gameplay, especially with randoms. With your friends, it doesn't really even matter. Y'all can y'all know how to adjust and all this and that. But with randoms, you also actually get the ball way more the, er the earlier you are to the PG position, right? Y'all be making PGs and make them shooting guards, and then you don't get the ball. Sometimes they might even put you at the damn three. And then you 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 you'll make a shooting guard with no D or little D, and then you'll have another PG on your team who has no D, and then that ruins your whole random experience. This literally decides wins and losses, guys, when, when playing with randoms. Trust me, I used to go on hundreds of game win streaks in no squad, live, just up in the streak, I'm telling you. The difference between me winning the game easy and effortlessly, having a small forward position build versus PG is drastic, drastic. So again, and tell your friends, always make your, your build, if you can make your damn lock a PG, always do it, bro always do it trust now badge plug says the paddles are cat because he has no idea why people was freaking out now i don't know man i don't trust the xbox guys i ain't gonna hold you man i think they be i think they're trying to keep it as a dark secret i've seen some other xbox guys say this and some of them don't even have the paddles but you always got to be wary listening to the xbox guys man because they just, just be trying to keep it for themselves i'm trying to tell you, you know I, I keep hearing different things some people saying it's op some people saying it's not as op as people are saying but it's still better overall because you don't have to time your tempo and uh some people say all this and that and with the stick you can adjust for this and that but guys they force you to miss rhythm shooting shots on purpose do y'all understand that so they have to give y'all different feedback if they're saying you're missing they're not gonna say excellent everywhere they're gonna say you miss in a different way because they don't want you to panic you guys not know this guys come on man but if you have the paddles down below and i you you can tell by how passionate people are about it right how like if they're caping and if they don't uh you know when people are like overly passionate about the paddles and things it seems like they really uh they know something that they not trying to get nerfed now stats tweets that real bro i ain't gonna hold you man now go ahead and listen to what i have to say man open your mind bro okay i'm gonna explain it to you bro. it says let's talk about this 70 percent bigger green wind rhythm shooting has over x some people say that it's not actually 70 percent and because you have to flick your analog it's adjusting or it's making up for you having to do that instead of just pressing square it's easier to shoot with rhythm shooting anyone who switches to rhythm shooting they notice they can make shots more consistent that means there's a bigger green window that means it's easier to shoot with rhythm shooting duh what's going on man in my personal opinion 70 percent is way too big of a difference i think this is true but what you're gonna notice in the 2k community is there aren't a lot of actual guards on the game right and rhythm shooting doesn't benefit guards as much as it does every other player which is very unrealistic because guards shoot the best in the in real life on any level and in the nba so role players shouldn't be getting an advantage to use rhythm shooting more than the damn guard who has way higher ratings way higher badges it's not real fair as a guard you can only really do it off of two moves like that really only one right to where you could get it down consistent but everyone else it's, it's every shot they get 
I don't think that's realistic. Y'all keep saying all this sim stuff. I don't think that's realistic, right? But look, then he says not everyone wants to rhythm shoot and green windows should only be maybe. I agree with this. It should be much um lower than what it is, bro. You should not feel forced to have to do that because also you could get stick drift on your controller, bro. And that's another thing with the paddles. You can actually get stick drift on your controller. You flicking all this and all that, and, you know? I don't know. I don't know why people are saying like rhythm shooting's hard and it's not, bro. Literally the worst of the worst say that they notice rhythm shooting increases their shot it's only guards that's saying oh they have people on everyone else is very easy to do guys i think y'all aren't looking from another perspective from like a guard perspective and them having like a lot guard in them or whatever you know or a real defender on them they're you know they're only be able they're only able to really shoot rhythm shots and 1v1 where the guy damn near leaves you wide open but if you really play and you're like on threes and fives you'll notice that like you know you're not gonna be able to shoot as much many rhythm shots as everyone else i think that's lame y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the next 2k update they need a buff square shooting um i don't know about buff I think make more consistent. I, I think make less RNG. Like, they're forcing us to miss, guys. I think that would be a good thing. Like, stop forcing us to miss. Let it be normal. Like, it's it's real sad. Like, if y'all watch people play, they're leaving each other open even more than ever because they know you can't hit all them shots wide open. And that's, that's weird. I'm, I'm not going to hold you. That's very unrealistic. Especially, you can really see it shine in 1v1 and somewhat on twos but especially in ones you really see like people really they used to play back before but now if someone hits a couple shots or one bro you might as well just stand in the damn paint two three bro you might as well stand and do y'all think that's and you know your shot you got 98 99 midi and all that there's league players like bro if y'all watch a 1v1 me wager y'all might not know what it is you can see it i saw one i was like this is sad y'all gotta see I, I'm, I'm not joking bro I, I don't think it's good for gameplay but y'all let me know how y'all feel about it man you know now lebron james great man great father we love him he said Bronny's just said he wants his own skin call of duty talk to me i think this is dope as hell w father we love lebron he's still the best in the league get off your knees stop hating i remember people said he wasn't top 10 and then now they on their knees like oh yeah after his usa performance like bro they defer to him because they know the truth boy they always trying to fade fade things away when it's still him but look this is a very hilarious thing i know this might make Bronny feel crazy man i don't know man i feel kind of bad for him but he's rich so i don't give a but if y'all didn't know a lot of the rich people man they really be tortured in the box they got a lot to live up to be going crazy but look and he said no one to work for nothing lol you all know that you all know how they say about the nba and they said the call of duty skin so i mean Bronny definitely gonna see this he probably never gonna have his dad do something like this hopefully it don't bother him too much but this is hilarious y'all think uh y'all agree with this or not if you're black bro you should be in support of this bro there's a lot of nepo babies in this world in everything in life i don't even know if i said it right especially with a lot of other different cultures so we should be in support of it when it comes to us okay literally every aspect of life people put their own on and that's what you should do. you know we should em embrace that man as a people we should you know applaud it and be like yeah real one you know put your kids on put your people on you know put your own on just like everyone else does you know we can't eradicate everyone else from doing it so you know we got to get with it ourselves anywho y'all click on the video on the screen you want to see these uh cheaters in 2k25 Crazy. but hey hey here we go again yeah. here, here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome